This is Dante Dakara, and welcome into another story. There are stories everywhere, um, and uh, that's the motto of the channel. Uh, you've been watching a few videos last week. Uh, I've been kind of crazy in my um, output, um, but there's a method to the madness, as I said in the comments section. Um, before we get started, um, of course, like, subscribe, all that jazz if you want to hear uh, more stories. Um, not necessarily just about Japan, but about teaching life expat stuff. Um, so let's get into it. Um, you saw three videos. Uh, if you haven't, then you can check up here. Um, but those videos were about like the, um, the, the viewpoints of, uh, the distilled viewpoints of three different kinds of individuals. Um, and there are so many more different kinds of individuals um, that think that Japan is this perfect place that, that thinks it's a paradise. And there are plenty of YouTubers that um, probably could say or probably have said rather you know how imperfect Japan is and and my point isn't just to talk about Japan to perfections um, but really um, if beauty is in the eye of the beholder then we should probably be analyzing the beholder as much as we should be analyzing what the beauty standard is to address some of the things that the conservatives said Japan is not homogenous yeah like there are Japanese people and Japanese people are ethnically Japanese, but that that's to ignore the Korean population here um, that is part of Japan, which um, is a controversial issue. Um, there's this idea that Japan is apathetic. That's also a lie. Um, Japanese people aren't apathetic. It's just that they don't view that yelling your opinion out loud, generally speaking, generally speaking, um, is a mature way of doing things. Now, of course, you're going to see some outliers, and that's the other thing. Everyone does not think the same here. Like that is a misnomer. Like that is a that is a misconception. Like, something that is viewed from the outside eye, or rather the outside viewpoint. But once you get into it, you realize how different people actually are. Xenophobia and racism isn't a part of their culture. However, that which is different is highlighted. That which is different is feared, and this is not rare. This is not unique. Um, yeah, there's a social safety net here, but it's not perfect. The pension system is going to fail if they don't figure out a way to boost more workers or to raise the age for the pension system or figure out another way to generate the amount of money needed to take care of the aging population that's here. It's not a sure thing. Um, there's no escape from the neoliberal quote unquote hellscape in America. Like the LDP is the LDP. And like, if you know the LDP, all it is, is a, it is a merger of the democratic and conservative party in America sans the aversion to socialistic policies that take care of people. But, um, they're even slower to react than our own Congress in America. There are social issues here. They're just hidden. There, there are homeless people here. They're just hidden. Um, there's, um, there's sexism here. It's not so hidden, but it's hidden. Uh, there, there is a movement for built LGBTQ rights. However, it's hidden, and then it's obscured even further by white Anglo-Saxon Protestants, conservatives who come here and act like that this place's traditions aren't already changing. Um, and that it's being changed by the people that are coming here. You're wrong. It's also wrong to say that, like, that you're having an active role in changing the country. Japanese people are changing their country. This isn't a collectivist country. This is just a country that has a lot of things simmering beneath the surface. Um, while the cops aren't going to be violent to you, they are going to be suspicious of you. There are people who get stopped. There are people who don't get stopped. I'm sure if I correlated the data, it would be very obvious that the people that are getting stopped are the non-Asian foreign people. And then from that hierarchy, the white people are not being stopped as much as the other colored people. Like, is this rare? No. Is this unexpected? No. Everyone knows that that's the case. Like, wherever you go, like... Even if you're foreign, white people are going to get harassed less. Sorry, it's just going to happen. Women are generally speaking going to get harassed. Excuse me. They're going to get bothered by the cops less. Let's go into women's thing. Like women's 
and I couldn't do a woman one. Like I wanted to do like a women video, but I'm, I don't look like a woman. I don't want to put on a wig and I was inevitably going to offend somebody, but women are harassed here. No matter what your, your color is, you're going to be sexually harassed one way or another. Like this place is not perfect. It does have crime. Like there are people that get off on crimes that otherwise people would get thrown in jail for. There are men that can just say, oh, I was drunk off. I have a lot of stress at work and they'll get off on that. Like they won't, they won't pay for that crime. Whereas there are foreigners who stayed here over, over their visa stay and die in the immigration office, excuse me, in the emanation, or immigration holding cells. Look it up. Like, I'm not saying this place is awful. I'm saying this place is just like every place. Um, but when I set out upon doing this, you know, I really wanted to think about what kind of person we were talking about. And what I came up with is that Japan is a paradise for the person that's entrenched um, in their own ideas of what Japan actually is. Um, for a conservative, um, it's a safe space from so social justice warriors masking traditionalism as their own form of conservatism. Um, whereas liberals find it to be a safe space from, I mean, I'm talking about American liberals, um, a safe space from um, the political discourse in America, a place to save. Um, they can coat themselves in this idea of diversity because they're not in a country that's majority white, that's backlashing against the minority population. Um, and then you have um, the black persona, which the black one was the most difficult for one for me to do because much of what the black person said, not me, um, was real, um, but it's imperfect. Um, but basically, the black person just looks for a place that they can merely exist without being threatened. Um, and any place is perfect in that particular stance. Um, but... I think I set out to make this because um, I'm tired. <laughs> I, I've been watching like, and hearing from and seeing a bunch of different kind of vloggers. And there's a reason why I didn't want to be considered a J-vlogger. It's for the specific reason. Um, like They say these things that I really don't like. And I try to like preface this with it's not hate. But every time I say that there's inevitably a but that comes about. Um, so I will just say this. YouTube is, is a window into a house. And um, through that window, you can see this small thing. And, and because you choose the window that you want to see into, you can only see the thing that you want to see. You can't see anything else. You don't have to see anything else. The problem with that is it, it ignores the differences in point of view, it ignores reality, it ignores Japanese people, generally speaking. I mean, how many YouTubers, how many YouTubers with an audience of foreigners are out there? I mean, I can think of three off the top of my head, uh, Yuta, um, June, but he's uh, with um, his wife and um, the kimono mom and her content is more lifestyle content um, so and in June his content's cooking content so how many Japanese people do you see talking about life in a way that was that resonates with foreign individuals such to the fact that they seek those people out um, to seek that that window of, of paradise it's not really the case usually it's the foreigners that's doing that um, and they have these kind of narratives that I hate um, and these narratives are as follows and I, I have a list right here so I'm gonna read from my list um, Japan is perfect if you don't agree with everything leave there's tons of those um, as a matter of fact there's I'm sure somebody who hates me or dislikes me or dis continues to make videos about me um, who thinks this kind of thing that Japan is the way it is, and if you don't like the way it is, then you shouldn't be here. There are people like that in America, too. Um, they don't believe that 
America should be a more perfect union, um, that the point of America is to progress, um, not to regress um, to whatever the Constitution said back in 1776, which made me less of a person. Um, but I digress. Um, the next viewpoint is Japan sucks, but I'll change it. Um, this is, well, this is a predominantly liberal idea, generally speaking. Um, and I'm not saying that this idea is, any of these ideas, well, yeah, I do. I am saying some of them are wrong. This particular idea is shared by some Japanese people, though. So I can't say this completely wrong. Um, the next one is Japan is what it is, and I'll do what I must what must be done until it decides to improve. This is my kind of perspective. This is a pragmatic perspective. Um, another one is, I don't give a shit what Japan is. I know what it isn't. Um, and those are the people that, generally speaking, they just want to live. They don't care about the discourse. They don't care about the reasons and things like that. Um, the, the problems that happen on a day-to-day -day basis, they do not affect them. Um, they're... they're really entrenched in their bubble and that's fine again these are all different windows um there's people who see through a window of j life you know um, not necessarily reality but tourist life anime kawaii culture um, and some people see it as basically a national geographic lifestyle um, where they're just going around but um you know we we often choose the people that don't challenge the way we think um, we, we know that we have this kind of bias, um, and no matter what we do, we always fall back to what makes us feel comfortable. Um, and there's no problem with that, um, except for the fact that you'll never realize, um, that you're looking through a window until you're vi invited into the other rooms of the house and then you realize how limited the scope it is if you're looking through a window and all you see is modern decor and you'll think the entire house is modern but that might not be the case maybe you know the kitchen is done in cat cottage core style and maybe the, the living room is maximus didn't it and maybe um they have this farmhouse vibe uh for for the children's bedroom you don't know all the rooms in the house so you need to seek out those other perspectives to have a full understanding of what it is. And usually when we do see those perspectives, when those perspectives are thrusted upon us, not when we choose them, but when they're thrusted upon us, well, then we're, we're left feeling apathy or denial or we flee. Um, but rarely is it just accepted. Rarely do we just say it is what it is. Um, and I, I don't want to go on and on and on, but I'm a tiny channel, <laughs> like 1,694 the last time I checked. And if you're watching this much later and I have much more than that, then humble beginnings, definitely humble beginnings. Um, and I'm still evolving. Who knows where this channel will be by the time you watch it or two years from now, who knows? But I've already seen the dangers of telling people what I believe on this channel. And then showing people a window through which I see my life here. I've already felt the pain of that. I've already dealt with the, the, the kind of people that believe what's in their window and what's in their window alone. I've seen how people react. I've seen how they double down on their beliefs. Um, I've seen like how other people react in those comment sections and how people react to me. Like I've been disappointed by some of the less pragmatic um, observers. Japan, what Japan truly is, is a fun house full of mirrors. And a year ago, a year ago when this channel really started to take off, take off, I was on, um, I was on, uh, what was the channel, uh, J uh, Asian Boss. And I said, everywhere you go, there you are. Japan is not a paradise. I'm sorry. It is a fun house for which you see these mirrors, and these mirrors are distortions of what you want to see. If you have an ego, 
you'll bend over backwards to show people that your perspective is the right one. That's, it is what it is. I don't believe that I have the right perspective. I don't believe that I'm necessarily good. Um, I believe that I'm doing the best that I can to tell the stories um, that I have. And it's why I'm so sure that I want to keep going with telling these stories because I think for me, seeing how Japan changes in my own eyes as I continue to live here is an exercise in growth and a way to show other people that the veil of, of beauty and that, that plastic wrapping that's on your iPhone when you take it off. When you take it off, then you truly see what it is. You see how it smudges. You see how it cracks. You see how it fails. And I think once you see that, then you know what you really have. You know what your phone is really worth. It is what it is. And as for how you figure out what it is, well, of course, you watch the news, you read the news, you, you, you seek out sources of information that aren't just going to confirm the biases that you already have. There are people that will obscure things just so they can get more views. Those little stories that I do with the videos that make everything look pretty, those are great, but I always couple those with these because like while you can look at a comic book and the pictures can tell you the story the real story is in the words well that's that uh, I will be doing some more comedy I guess because I'm pre I, I guess I'm pretty good at it and um I'm also going to be doing more of lampooning um, some of the things that I see uh, here and about. Um, somebody might inevitably green screen this video. If so, hello down there. Um, but in the end, um, I truly believe that like the stories, whether they be Japanese stories, Korean stories, Chinese stories, Russian stories, American stories, Canadian stories, Australian stories, Third story buildings, um, the stories of our lives, stories on Instagram. All of these stories have a purpose. Like, I think that we are truly lost when we lose track of the fact that hell very well could be other people. And that was me merging two really cool stories, Paradise Lost and No Exit. Sorry, I'm, I'm a book and play nerd. So if you got that, let me know below. But, but seriously, like, what do you think? I'm Dante. This is Dante Dakada. Until next time. Later.